I'm Patty. And in the Bible, it says you should confess your sins. And my first sin is hoarding. I have no idea what's in what box, where, or anything else. It's just one big mass of stuff. I'm Chris, and Patty is my mom. I moved out at the age of 17. Just decided to get out of that situation and move on with my life. I am Sean, and Patty is my mom. There was about four different places in the living room that I slept over the years. For a period of time, I slept in the bathtub. I stayed living with her there until I was 19. And then I finally moved out then. I told her, you need to get out of here and come with me. Otherwise, you're just gonna die here. When we were growing up, this is what we lived with. But I would blame this whole hoarding thing on my dad's drinking. Shortly after we got married, my husband started drinking. And uh, somewhere around that drinking, there was affairs. It was 1984 when we moved in there. And then it was about a year after that that the first affair happened. And that's when things started going downhill. It was this hole inside of me and this fear of another affair, of his leaving me. So that's how my hoarding started. To her, hoarding it was, it was protection from the outside. When there was a wall of boxes, it was another layer of protection. Boxes got set against the wall. I was like, safe. When he left, that just pretty much sealed it. I was worth this. And so my hoarding got bigger and bigger and bigger, and to where I couldn't stop the ball anymore. <clears throat> oh my Jesus. Going into the house was extremely different than when I was there before. I'm standing on four feet of stuff, garbage. It was a kick to the chest. Matt. Hey, how are you? Good, Good to morning. see you again. Good to see you. My name is Dr. Robin Sazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Tell me about your night. My name is Matt Paxton, and I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. What the is that? It was tough. I tried to spend the night in the house in a couple different rooms, and I, I couldn't do it. What's the house look like on the inside? There's nothing really of value in that house. I mean, this one's all dental. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, this is gonna be a tough hoard. I have a feeling I'm gonna have my hands full. Yeah. As we begin to declutter the home, Hattie's gonna be left with having to face her feelings about the past, which she has so guarded against. Remember, everything that you keep has to have a purpose, and it mm -hmm. has to have a home. You can throw all the plastic away, you can throw the bags away. All the stuff we can throw away? But just keep the, okay. the contents. So about... this can go in the rummage sale pile. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Garbage. Okay. Excellent. Proud of you. 2003. Phone and stuff. Garbage. That's garbage. It doesn't have anything written in it, it's garbage. Oh, no, look at you go. Garbage. Garbage, good job. Good job, Grandma. You're doing really good. I'm very proud of you. At this point, Patty is trusting the process and trusting us. 
She has been working hard, but I'm mm -hmm. at a place where I want to challenge Patty just a little bit more. We want you to be dealing with the psychological triggers that led to the hoarding, which means dealing with some of the more difficult stuff. This is the easy stuff. Holy crud. <sighs> okay, you ready? I'm going. This is a battle that we've known we've needed to tackle for years. And it just kept getting pushed off and pushed off. Amen. That moment I walked in, she was in a lot of emotional distress. I wanted to stay in that core of the hurt and the pain and for her to really experience those emotions that for so long she has been avoiding. You've experienced very severe abuse and trauma. And this is the consequence of your trauma. This is trauma that led to this. As painful as it is to sit in here, I'm hoping that you're gonna see that by moving through this, you're gonna be in a much better place. It's really hard for me to know that I let the house get so bad. I failed my kids and uh, I failed myself. microwave hold and set the scrap. Okay, so same thing with the dishwasher then? And this and the dishwasher. The range? Yeah, I'll pull it. We are moving stuff out of the house, but the reality is I only got a few days to clean it. Are you that sure you wouldn't pull all the appliances? I think we have to. I gotta go a lot faster if I want to get her back into this home by the end of the week. It's time for Patty to start facing more of her demons. We started to bring out items associated with her ex-husband. Tell me about this one. It was in 1990 Stein. This was the year he started drinking a lot again. And things went downhill again. I'm not hearing anything positive the more you talk about this Stein. This does not produce a happy memory. You've held it in for decades. It's time to let it out. You kidding me, and I ended my life, and I ended it to my kids. By Patty smashing the steins, it's her way of starting to release that emotional pain that she was so afraid to face. It's really, really good to see this family come together and start to learn that you can express any emotion, and it's okay. This family is tired. They've worked really, really hard. The Dr. Sazia had not had this family learn to talk together and work together. There's no way we would have gotten the house as clean as we did. Look up. What do you think? It's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think? It's, so awesome. it's wonderful. There isn't enough words to tell you how I feel. I can't express how thankful that I am. My grandkids can come and spend the night in my home for the first time in their lives. My mom was able to face her fears, and none of this could have happened if she wouldn't have done that. I was able to let go of a lot of horrible memories that were in that house. I feel more like Patty today than I have felt like Patty in a long, long, long time.
You've given me my life back. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.